Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're looking into automatic number plate recognition and this is using a Dutch license plate. Now this is very particularly interesting because a Dutch license plate is yellow in color and this application shows how we can use that to our advantage. Now we have already done license plate recognition in the past and there are many other applications out there who go about solving this problem. In the past what we did was we first looked into the outer structure of the body, we would try to identify if it's a car. If it's a car, then the different types of rectangular features available in the, in the car and which one would match the number plate recognition. So th there were different types of techniques that you could do, like detecting the car and then finding the number plate within the car. This particular project is interesting because it is helping us in formulating that methodology or that thinking process of how you could use image processing in your applications. Now, this is just license pay application, but the things that we are going to be learning here, hopefully will help in formulating other projects. Let me show you, this is the repository that we are using from, and uh, this is by Guilty Neuron. In the link in the description, you'll see there is a collab file, which goes into the Dutch license plate detection, and it's pretty much uh, how it's going to be opening up. Now, the process in this, uh, what we're trying to do is do detection of this particular Dutch license plate, which is supposed to be detecting the yellow color plate and then formulating where the license plate is. Now, there are a few steps and the author did a very good job in breaking them down for us. And I'll quickly go over that and show the process. The first process is, uh, since we know that a Dutch license plate is yellow in color, we can use that to our advantage. Basically, look for all the yellow color that is available inside an image and then formulate whether or not that looks like a license plate or not. So the first step is to do yellow color detection. And you can see yellow color detection is bringing us quite a bit of yellow spots in the image, but we are pretty much interested in only this particular one. And uh, how we formulate that this is the one which we need instead of these other erroneous or noisy pixels. So we have something called as closing morphology and closing morphology basically does is if you have if you have something that you have already detected and you are not interested in the pixels that are inside the inside the pixels that you already have to better, to better put it you have these number plate that is available inside the yellow pixel and uh, now you need something to identify okay this is this whole thing is my license plate so i need everything and when it goes under the detection, it should detect the whole rectangle and not miss the numbers within. So for that purpose, we use closing and that closing will close all these erroneous pixels within the yellow color. And that will give you this particular process. So this is what closing does, where it removes all the erroneous pixels that are present inside your positive image. So but this is a positive image. This yellow color is a positive image, but all the negative, which is black in color, basically the text and some other RNS objects available inside this, you're just deleting them out and include, so that you can include the whole license plate in your project. But you're just doing that so it cleans up the whole image. Once you have done that, then you're identifying whether this is the image that we are interested in on or not. For that purpose, we can use something called uh, a rectangle where we're basically trying to identify the pixels that match a rectangular shape. So though those type of detections we will process into identifying whether or not it is detected. So with that purpose, we have this detected image. Once we have this detected image, once we have the bonding box of the license plate, then we can do some sort sort of uh, color, uh, basically changing the uh, brightness and contrast so it's easy for text detection. Uh, we can also make it gray. We can also do some thresholding so we can emphasize the text written on it. And this particular image then goes into some something like a Tesseract, Google's OCR Tesseract, and then you basically go from there. So we'll see how we can go about implementing this. It's uh, pretty much straightforward. Uh, the whole code is from this particular project, of course. Uh, in for our collab purposes, in order to run, we did a few minor changes, but this will also run on your desktop and uh, very, very easy to implement. And the author may have made all these functionalities that you're using here in order to 
build this into smaller chunks, which is very easy for us to understand. Uh, we, the first step is just cloning the repository. We are making these two directories that he needs. Uh, the directories are in order to, for us to save all these images, the output images that are being used for this project. And then once we have that, we're just making sure this project is uh, all the required functions that are available. Uh, this four point transform is nothing but the rectangle that we discussed about where uh, once we have the yellow pixel detected, then you need some sort of a rectangle shape detection, which will make sure only the shape that matches the shape of a rectangle will go through and everything else rejected. Then similarly, you have the automatic brightness in contrast, which is process of the text detection process. Uh, then you're also, this is just the color detection. Once you have the color, then you're using the closing, the morphology operation, morphology close, which is uh, nothing but just removing the false positives within a detected image. Similarly, once you have all these contours detected, uh, once we have all these images detected, then you're, you're just passing it to the text detection aspect. Uh, this, pro this second bit of the code is nothing but uh, we are reading the image, reading the image or reading a video file. And whatever uh, process you give, whatever image you give, you're just defining two functions. This is for detecting of images and this is for detecting of video. You, you can specify your video, you can specify your image and then it will do the job for you. And now last process is just providing the image that you're interested in. And uh, the author did provide some Dutch images for us to use. So it's under the Dutch ANPR project. And here under the data section, you have these images. And these images, there are quite a bit of the Dutch license plate images and cars that we can use for our pro testing purposes. Yeah, uh, just wanted to share this video, just wanted to share this application. I was pretty much uh, very interested in the way he had broken down all the steps, giving out the output, which is very easy for us to understand and then formulate our thinking for similar application. Yeah, so just sharing this with you. With that, you guys take care, stay safe, bye-bye.